All right, guys, it has come down to this. The final part of Little Nightmares 2. This game has been exceptional. Um, this is usually where I say, you know, hope the video does well and likes or whatever to kind of send the series off. But, I mean, regardless of anything, I'm going to tell you right now, thank you guys for joining me. I know that uh, I keep the game volume at, like, a normal thing. I know, like, other YouTubers and stuff, they try to, like, mute a lot of the stuff. Or not mute, but like lower the decibels of the volume a lot. And they kind of make their voice amplified. I wanted to make this experience as you're kind of there with me. You know? You don't like a section of the game? Just hide in the comments. That's where I'll be at anyway. So, um, you guys are amazing. Thanks for all the support on this game. I don't know what the next big title is going to be. This wasn't even really a big game. But it turned out to be better than most AAA titles I've played. So, um, anyways... Love you guys. Let's get it. Oh, it's a music box. What in the world? Oh, it's six. Wait, what? Was I just lured here? Lord? How do you say that? Uh. Is that? That's not really six, though, is it? Okay. I'm so confused. I can't leave the room, so. Oh. I'm confused. I'm hitting it. It's not really doing anything. There we go. Got it. Yo, I barely, like, let off for a second. Okay, well, here we go. We're out of here. Oh, it's one of these puzzle things, too. Okay. That was so close. Yo, man, what do they do to six? I think I'm gonna get... No, I think we're good. Is it safe? I hope it's safe. I'm running. Oh my god. Wait, what? So, six is... I'm dead here. What are you supposed to do? 
supposed to do? Alright, something I haven't tried yet. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna do this. You don't have a lot of time, though. I don't see anything around us, really. Wait. So, is this actually six, or is this, like, all a dream? Oh, no. Phase two, boys. Phase two! Same thing. Not sure where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, wait. Okay. We're, it's like we're going several phases. I guess we're going to be in a brand new room this time. Where's the... Oh, it's up there. You can actually get hit right there. Uh... No, I got hit right there. Uh, you don't have a lot of time. You gotta like, you gotta be quick. Okay, here's how we, we get the three-part thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go this way. Now we go back this way. Now... No! No! Oh, I had it. It's like a pathway, basically. I had that, man. No, please. Um...
Well, there's six right there. right there. What is going on? Oh my god. That, that little thing I just did, is it's it's over now. You jump on the bottom of this one, then you go to the top of the next one, but the thing is... No! Oh! Go, 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 go! Stuck here? Wait a minute. What's going on? Wait, what? Did she let go or did I just slip out? Plant. If that was, that was a top 10 of all time anime betrayal right there. I, I, I don't know what just happened. Like, did my character just die or what? Maybe we escape out of here now. Somehow. Whatever we're on right now is just... Strange. Wait, what?
Signal interruption. All right, that was the end of it. Definitely not twice as long as the first game, more like three times as long, maybe even four. Um, Kind of blown away right now. I did not expect this game to be as good as it was or as long as it was. Um, let's kind of go over what just happened. So the entire time you're with six, you save six, even the school, the students or whatever got her tied up, whatever it is. And then uh, her being the main character of the first game, kind of a weird thing. So she chose to let go of your character at the end, which then turns you, it puts you in the other place or whatever. Cause at the very end, she jumps through something that looks like a giant TV or whatever it is. It's the same kind of screen. It doesn't look like a traditional TV, but then, so we're stuck inside the TV thing now. And we become the tall man with the hat who chases her any chance you get. So is the game technically a loop? You know what I mean? So we became what was chasing us, which kind of confused me. Like, why would you be chased by yourself? We captured six, basically, because the tall man had her for a little bit. But then we rescued six. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like an endless loop. That is crazy. Office dogs. That's actually kind of cool that they had dogs at their office. I guess technically I have dogs of mine too. <laughs> uh, this game was excellent. I can't say enough good, good things about it. I, I feel like overall, I was first I was worried about playing with music. I feel like with man, I can't even imagine the game without it. Um, chapter one was the the hunter set the standard of the game. I felt like really top notch. You take out the guy with the shotgun at the very beginning. Um, after getting chased, the puzzles really good. There were a few times I got stumped. Uh, the, the doors at the end, I didn't know you're supposed to follow the music. I kind of struggled for a little bit, but, um, this is a really good game. By the way, I'm recording this. Uh, I finished, I did all of chapter four and five in one night. Actually, I finished the hospital. I actually, I think I did, I did all chapter three, four and five all in one day, but, uh, I'm finishing this recording at 3.30 in the morning. I'm about to go to sleep, man. Way too late. But Clementine sleeps. She didn't go to bed till like two and three sometimes, so she just fell asleep. Um, so that's why I stay up so late. But anyways, you guys are amazing. I don't do like scores, but this game definitely uh, makes you think. But I also think it makes it makes six like a villain kind of, because the entire time you think the antagonist of the game is the tall man, and the other. So you have the hunter. You have the teacher, and then you have the doctor. Not, not, not much of a doctor, you know what I mean? Um, that that doctor was so freaky. Scariest parts of the game, though, I think, were the the still the mannequins. I mean, the me the mannequin part, and then like the teacher part wasn't as scary as it was thrilling. You know what I mean? The hunter part was just kind of more a actiony, I guess. When you get into the hospital, though, and the ha it's like the hand. Then the mannequins, then the doctor or whatever that is. That section of the game is by far the scariest. Um, chapter four was more people staring at TVs, I think. You know, just kind of like back and forth puzzles. You just kind of have to sit there and think about where you need to go. Um, I got stumped a few times, but um, yeah, I mean, that's it's crazy. Just finally beating a game like this and just seeing like... You know, because I'm actually beating this, uh, just, I don't know if the game's out yet. I didn't actually look at the release date all the way, but I know it comes out in different places at different times, but I don't know, like, the worldwide release time. But I would give this game a, a really high score. I don't know what the first one got, um, but if they keep it up, man, and they make the third game even better, which I don't know how you top this. I have no idea how you top this. This is like, like, when Terminator came out. You know, comparison. Um, and Resident Evil also. Think about these things. Terminators are movies, obviously, but uh, the games weren't that good. Um, the first movie was really good. And then the second one... Oh, you know what I just realized? 
Holy shit. Um, I, so, the first Terminator, uh, Arnold, is like the villain, you know? And the second one, they didn't show in the trailers or whatever when it first came out. They didn't show, like, that he was the good guy in the second one. He's helping Sarah Connor the whole time. It's like the inverse of this. It's not a time loop, but I guess it kind of is also, if you think about it. Because sent from the future and all that. Anyways, um, I was thinking about the comparison that I just thought about. I was like, wow, it's like the inverse. So in, like, in the first game, Six is, like, the hero. In this game, Six is, like, the villain, I guess. Because she's what causes you to become all that trap you. She traps you in that place thinking you're like a monster, but you help her the whole time. Then she betrays you at the very end. I, I just wish I could download a soundboard of Halo 2. That betrayal. You know, that little soundboard, man? That's what I need. I would have mashed that button so fast when that happened. I, I just feel like this game was definitely better than the first one. Uh, lengthwise, it wasn't too long. You know what I, I was just going to say? It's about the same length as, like, Hitman 3. Now, I don't even know if this is a full price game. I haven't looked. Like, I, that's the only other game that's come out this year, really. There's been a few small ones, but this, I don't know, this game was just excellent. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. It's late at night. I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, I'm not sure when you guys have seen this video, but um, I've been pouring my heart and soul into these videos lately, so I really thank you guys for just all the support, you know. It really means a lot to me. Uh, I've been doing this YouTube thing since I was 23. I started thinking about it. And then shortly after my birthday, when I turned 24, um, which was in February, about seven weeks later, I made my first video. But I'd been getting the idea of how to do all this like beforehand. I, I studied like how to edit videos, which I used to make like montages and stuff for fun. And then I just kind of decided, hey, let's try this. But I didn't think anybody cared about what I had to say, you know. Like, who, who, who am I? You know what I mean? Um, and it just kind of blossomed from there, man. And to be able to cover new games like this is just... And have an audience. It's crazy, man. I, I still don't... I still don't realize how many people watch me. I should get, like, nervous. But it's... It's like post type stuff so it's not like I'm doing it I'm doing the video live but you guys are seeing it after so there's not like there's not like pressure on me in certain situations like I gotta perform or something but um, Resident Evil Resident Evil 2 are the last two things I'm gonna talk about so Resident Evil came out changed the horror scene forever that and Silent Hill both excellent Resident Evil 2 was even more of a game changer because it was just better than the first one it was longer it had the Two different types of discs. You had Claire A, Claire B, Leon A, Leon B. However you wanted to play the game, it would be different. Um, and you had the hunk and tofu stuff. I mean, it changed everything for horror games, I feel like. Uh, this kind of fills a similar path of if you're going to make a side... I wouldn't call this a side scroller. Whatever this is technically called. A side view type of game like this. It's not Metroidvania because that doesn't this doesn't fit it like that because it's not it's more it's also 3D kind of you know so um I just feel like I mean I I feel bad for anybody who's making another game like this because if it's not anywhere near this good it's gonna just get compared to this nonstop and I'm gonna do the same thing probably if I, I mean I, I was thinking about it, I was like the only other games I could think of are like uh, Inside. But that was actually a lot shorter. Didn't have the horror aspect to it. And then... Um, I mean, the first Little Nightmares was good. It almost... You, you go back and look, though, and it's just like a two-hour game. Inside was a little bit different. The ending of that game was crazy. And then... Uh, this game just all around. The visuals, the soundtrack, the gameplay, the surprise moments, you know? It's like you get into a brand new area and it's like, oh no, what's lurking behind this area, you know? And it's like a hand that's chasing you. And then you think, oh, the hand's over. Thank God that's over with. And then it's like, then you got to deal with ma mannequins, you know? And you finally get past that and then there's more mannequins. And just when you think they're going to stop, they just keep coming at you. And then it puts you in a giant room where they're all around you, you know? 
that, like, that section of the game was by far the scariest, and... For a little game, like, you look at this game, it doesn't look scary. But when you play it, it's like a whole nother experience, but... Um, anyways, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go to sleep. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support on this game in general. I actually want to see if there's anything past the credits. I've been just kind of sitting here watching them. I can't fast forward it, so I'm gonna guess that there's nothing... If there's anything after the credits, I'll just paste it onto the end of the video, but it shouldn't... shouldn't be anything. That was insane. Good ending, but also... You know... To make Six the villain, I, I'm guessing that's what happened. Either she let go on purpose, which I think is what did happen, or she, uh... May oh, you know what? I just realized maybe she knew that you're the tall man. Because if it's a, if it's like a, if it's like a loop, then maybe she knew who you are because she's already been through that before. Is this a prequel? Hold on, because I would think like. She doesn't really become six. Like, putting on the outfit, she leaves, and then maybe her whole thing starts? I don't know. I didn't look and see if this was actually a prequel, but it would... I mean, if it was, I could see it kind of making sense. But at the same time, it also wouldn't make sense, because if it's on a loop, and she's doing it over and over, then... Or maybe you are doing it over and over, but she's not. I don't know. I gotta... I'm about to go on, like, Reddit and just, like, read what other people are saying, because... I can't form my own opinion for some reason. It's too late at night. All right, don't, don't judge me. Um, you guys are awesome. I'll talk to you later. I'm just gonna kind of fade and just roll out, man. Take it easy, guys.